The Uberth tier is meant for the most overpowered Pokemon in competitive play, the legendary that would destroy standard play that is the OU tier. And it's true, the tier is run, for the most part, by legendary Pokemon. But there are non-legendaries too, that are so powerful that they're not only banned from standard play, they're also good in the Uberth tier. Additionally, because you can always use a Pokemon from a lower tier in a higher tier, there are a few non-legendary Pokemon from the lower tiers that actually do well when playing amongst the legendary Pokemon. We're going to talk about every non-legendary Pokemon that's good in the Uberth tier in competitive play. And as always, make sure to subscribe, we are almost at 69,000 subscribers. First, we have Ferrothorn. Ferrothorn is a staple of the OU tier where it finds itself as an amazing utility Pokemon with the best defensive type in the game in Steel and moves like Stealth Rock, Spikes, Knock Off, Thunder Wave, and Leech Seed. Many of these attributes are still valuable in the Uberth tier and it gets usage up there as well. Ferrothorn's typing and raw bulk let it match up well against some of Uber's top threats like Kyogre, Xerneas, Zekrom, and Zygarde. Hazard moves are always valuable no matter what tier you're playing in, and Leech Seed is good in the Uber's tier because in the Uber's tier many legendaries tend to have large HP stats. Interestingly, unlike in OU, Ferrothorn runs Curse or Iron Defense Body Press movesets because that's the way it beats Pokemon like Dragon Dance Necrozma or Dragon Dance Zygarde. Otherwise, it's just too weak. Ferrothorn does have to be careful about powerful attackers like Ho-Oh or Eternatus, but fundamentally, Ferrothorn's typing holds up and it's bulky enough to handle even Uber's level threats. Now we have Darmanitan Galar who is banned from standard play for being way too strong. Guerrilla Tactics is a free choice ban and Darmanitan Galar was basically unwallable. This power level is so high that Darmanitan Galar actually finds it strong enough to hang out in the Uber's tier. Ice is a great offensive typing in Ubers because a lot of legendaries are dragon types. Darmanitan Galar often uses a choice scarf and its very convenient speed tier lets it outspeed Pokemon like Dragon Dance Zekrom, Scarf Kyogre, Scarf Landorus T, and Pokemon like Calric Shadow. While Darmanitan Galar is still threatening, it can be a little prediction reliant because of steel types like Necrozma Duskmane. Icicle Crash is a very spammable move but you would need to predict and either Flare Blitz or U-Turn on a Necrozma Duskmane switch-in. Darmanitan Galar is often paired with Magnezone, a Magnet Pull Pokemon, and another non-legendary Pokemon that we'll talk about later. Now we have the Almighty Blissey. Similar to Ferrothorn, it's an OU Pokemon with great utility. Its bulk holds up even in the Uberus tier and Blissey is able to wall a lot of powerful special attackers. Blissey is one of the better switch-ins to Choice Specs Kyogre and other special attackers like Offensive Eternatus, Xerneas, and Calric Shadow. Blissey's normal typing acts as a deterrent to Calric Shadow trying to spam Astral Barrage, and lately a lot of Calric Shadow don't even run Psyshock, which makes it easier for Blissey overall. In the case of Geomancy Xerneas, Blissey needs to run the move Confide to beat it. Blissey is very passive, so it doesn't fit on a lot of teams. It doesn't do a lot of damage in return, so a lot of Pokemon can use Blissey as fodder to do whatever they want. As a result, mainly only stall teams can afford to use Blissey. That being said, the teams that can afford it love Blissey's ability to blanket wall special attackers and its utility with moves like Stealth Rock, Heal Bell, Confide, and Toxic or Thunder Wave. Weavile is interesting because it's one of the top Pokemon in standard play. But Weavile has never been particularly good in Ubers before. Generation 8 had the perfect storm which led to Weavile being good. In fact, I made a whole video about it. But briefly, Weavile is a fast but frail wall breaker. But the main question is why settle for that? This is the uberest tier with legendaries, there are many statistically better Pokemon. Why settle for something that has a butt in it? Why settle for fast but frail? Weavile answers that question with its type combination. Dark plus Ice matches up well versus the big four of the uberest tier. The type combination does well versus Yveltal, Necrozma Duskmane, Eternatus, and Calric Shadow. Weavile finds its place on offensive teams with its speed and power and the type combination makes it worth it to use despite its low bulk. The reward of using Weavile is worth the risk. Dracovish was everybody's favorite Pokemon and was banned from OU because of Strong Draw Fisher's Rend, a 170 base power attacking move that does get boosted by Strong Draw. In the Uber's tier, Dracovish is a solid attacker through its sheer power. It's mainly seen on teams with Kyogre, that way it can take advantage of Drizzle. A rain-boosted Fisher's Rent is one of the most terrifying attackers in the tier. 
oftentimes it's seen with Choice Scarf in the rain to have both speed and power. It also has some natural offensive synergies with Kyogre itself, because Kyogre is a special attacker, whereas Dracovish is a physical attacker. For example, Dracovish is a big threat if it comes in on a Blissey, who would usually switch in on Kyogre. They also both target Eternatus, so one can break for the other. Choice Banded Dracovish usually goes for a slightly different approach. To mitigate the issue of Dracovish's low speed, Banded Dracovish is often paired with a lot of Thunder Wave Pokemon like Kyogre, Ho-Oh, or Necrozma Duskmane. Besides Rain teams or Paralysis Spam teams, Dracovish is seen on Trick Room teams which is itself uncommon. On Trick Room teams, Dracovish runs as little speed as possible and goes for a Choice Band to be as strong as it can be. In singles, Trick Room as a whole is a rare strategy, but it's slightly more common in the Uberus tier because everything has high stats including speed, which make it more comfortable to try and turn the tables. For this playstyle, Dracovish is a very deadly threat. Buzzwall is an OU Pokemon that finds utility in the Uberus tier because of its raw physical defense and typing. Buzzwall's defenses let it check a large number of attackers like variants of Groudon and Yveltal, Necrozma Duskmane, Zygarde, Weavile, and Marshadow. Its massive defenses hold up in the Uberus tier and it's also an effective knockoff sponge for the rest of the team. Buzzwall's typing synergizes well with the big three, so it's easy to fit on a team. Its main drawback is its low special defense and weakness to status conditions. For example, Zygarde can easily fit Toxic on its moveset in order to beat Pokemon like Buzzwool, and Zekrom, who sometimes runs Dragon Dance, can also run Draco Meteor. Still, Buzzwool finds its place in the Uberus tier as a physical defender. Despite being used so little that it's an untiered Pokemon, Ditto is always a fun Pokemon to use in the Uberus tier with a Choice Scarf. Using its imposter ability, it turns the table on powerful sweepers like Xerneas or Dragon Dance Pokemon like Zekrom and outspeeds them. Its best matchup is versus hyper offensive teams to try and copy powerful attackers. Ditto can also be valuable in a stall versus stall matchup. Because Ditto gets 5 PP of every move when it copies a Pokemon, it functionally has infinite PP as it switches in and out. As long as it keeps itself healthy, its infinite PP is a huge asset for beating a stall team in long drawn out games. Magnezone is a Pokemon found in the OU tier and gets usage in Ubers because of its ability to trap Steel types with Magnet Pull. In particular, Magnezone can trap Necrozma Duskmane, one of the most popular Pokemon in the tier. By trapping Steel types, Magnezone can open up opportunities for powerful Pokemon like Xerneas or Dramanitan Galar. Magnezone uses an Air Balloon Magnet Rise Iron Defense moveset to trap Necrozma. Air Balloon lets it switch into even Earthquake from Necrozma then it can outspeed and magnet rise to stop Earthquake. Finally, it sets up Iron Defense and Body Press until it can remove Necrozma. Magnezone does have its flaws though. Magnezone's low speed and mediocre special defense means it loses to a lot of common Pokemon like Eternatus, Kyogre, and Calric Shadow. Moreover, teams that heavily rely on Necrozma defensively can easily run Shed Shell to escape the trap. Nonetheless, it's still an interesting option to trap one of the best Pokemon in the tier. Slurpuff finds itself as an unburdened belly drum sweeper in the lower tiers of competitive Pokemon. However, that doesn't hold up in the Uberus tier where everything is much stronger. Instead, Slurpuff uses a lead Focus Sash Sticky Web moveset. It has Magic Coat, which lets it bounce back Taunt or other hazards. Ideally, its Focus Sash gets triggered to activate Unburden, and then it can use a move like Misty Explosion to feint and stop Defog or Rapid Spin. Slurpuff's goal is to get Sticky Web up, keep hazards off, and feint. It's a concept known as a suicide lead, where the player takes a calculated risk and backs themselves to win a 5 vs 6 with Sticky Web support. Similar to Slurpuff, Shuckle is also a Sticky Web lead. It's slower and doesn't have Magic Coat, but in exchange it also has Stealth Rock. It uses moves like Encore to stop it from being set up bait, and Final Gambit to sacrifice itself. Similar to how Slurpuff uses Misty Explosion. Because Shuckle is bulky and already has Sturdy, it doesn't need Focus Sash and can use an item like Mental Herb to block Taunt or Red Card to force a Rapid Spinner to switch. Basically, Shuckle and Slurpa find themselves usable in Ubers because they can use Sticky Web. Toxapex is a weird Pokemon because Eternatus is very common and fits the role as a bulky Poison type while also being strong and fast. Toxapex is a lesser seen Pokemon, but its main benefit is Regenerator. 
It can more consistently beat Pokemon like Marshadow and Ho-Oh even if it gets paralyzed because it can switch out to regen health and then come back in. Regen also lets Toxapex switch into Pokemon like Darmanitan, Galar, and Dracovish more effectively, something that Eternatus cannot do. Because it's so passive and there's competition from Eternatus, it's mainly used on stall teams who don't care about being passive and values Toxapex Regenerator more. Last but not the least, we have an honorable mention in Aerodactyl. Just like Shuckle and Slurpuff, it's a suicide lead. It's the fastest Pokemon that can taunt and stealth rock and that's what it aims to do. It tries to lead the game, prevent stealth rock, get its own stealth rock up, and if it can, it'll try and get a tailwind up too before fainting. Basically, Aerodactyl finds its role as the fastest stealth rocker in the game and can almost guarantee getting the rocks up before fainting for a hyper offense team. Overall, there are a lot of non-legendary Pokemon that are just fine in the mighty Uberus tier. I mentioned every Pokemon down till the B rank on the Community Viability Rankings, but there are more Pokemon below the B rank. What Pokemon do you think should have been on this list? Let me know down in the comments below.